Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm actually really excited because we're gonna be going over something pretty fun. So as you may or may not know, I live in a pretty remote part of the world. It's a third world country. And specifically where I train horses, there's no electricity and no running water. We have to use solar power and up until now, the only way for the horses to get water was for them to go down to the river, which not only is infested with caimans, but is also really far away through a thick jungle. That's just not ideal, especially when I want my horses to be safe and to just have an easier life. There's even one field here that doesn't have access to water. And so I decided to make a water system that brings water from a natural spring and delivers water to a tank and the tank then feeds a system of water pipes that not only feed that one field that has no access to water, but also I can wash horses with the water from the tank. I can use it to clean my car. I can do anything with it I want to because now I have pressurized water directly close to me. And <laughs> where are you taking me, Phoenix? I don't want to go through this. Ah, no. Okay, well, that's one way again through there. So now I not only have water at the corral, I also have water in the field where there was no access to water before. So it's a huge improvement and I'm able to take care of my horses on a different level that was never able to before. So I'm really excited about it and I'm gonna show you what it involves, what the different elements are and how it works. So this is the water tank. The spring water gets pumped up here 24 hours a day. There's so much water right now that the tank's overflowing every single day. We have here a fully functional automatic water for the horses. We also have a fully functional hose for washing them. It uh, doesn't have an extreme amount of pressure, but obviously it's only dropping that much. So, uh, But it is enough to get the horses wet and to wash them well. And any kind of water related things that need to happen with a hose out here, we're all set for that. By far the hardest part of this project was digging the pipe into the ground. It was a long distance to do by hand. It took me quite a few days just working on it uh, day by day as I could to get it all dug in. But now that it's all underground, you can't even tell it's there. And also it's deep enough that the cows won't step on the pipe and make a problem. This water tank gives us pressure for the different automatic waterers. It also holds a lot of extra water just in case I need to wash several horses or do something that requires a lot of water. So it's a nice reserve to have just in case the pump stops at any time. Now, talking about how this water gets here, how this spring fresh clean water gets here from over 250 meters away, the only way to do it is to show you where it comes from, how it all works, so we'll take you there now. So I'm at the spring now, and this is the source of the spring. This is where the water begins its journey to the tank. Right here you can see there's a pipe underwater, and this pipe feeds a bucket and this pipe is actually taking the water to the pump. Because this pipe is falling down there's a lot of weight behind this water that comes down and this little device right here opens and closes and that's what makes pressure. So this is my filter here. Uh, you can see if I open this how much pressure there is on it. A lot of pressure. Um, and what this does is make sure that the water that goes up to the tank is filtered just in case there's any dirty algae or anything in it that would not be good. So the water that gets to the tank is fully clean and drinkable. And this little system right here is literally working 24 hours a day. Um, and the only time it stopped was when there was a huge storm when a bunch of leaves and things came down and kind of destroyed it. It's taken me at least five different separate tries. Once I tried to dam up there on top of that little waterfall and that didn't work, but eventually it did work and now it's working. I've even installed a little gate so the cows can't come upstream because if they do, they would destroy this and hopefully this stick works to stop them getting down there. But it's all just kind of pretty primitive. It's kind of in the middle of the jungle. Obviously there you can see that's where the pipe goes underground and starts its journey to the tank. It's pretty fun. I've had a lot of fun working on it. Um, and obviously now that it's actually functioning, 
I'm incredibly happy with it because I put in a lot of effort to get this to work. Right now the water does have kind of a little bit of a pipe taste, but I think over time that goes away, they say. Cold, fresh water, um, you know, that just wasn't even here before. And this supplies this field with water, which didn't have water before. And also this one, which does have water, but it's way down there and there's obviously uh, some big reptiles in it that I don't want the horses to mess with. But yeah, this is working really well and the horses are obviously using it because of all the grass in it, which doesn't just appear by itself. It's definitely been a lot of work, but it's totally worth it to be able to have fresh water right next to the corral. If you haven't seen the corral video on how I made that, go ahead and watch it up there. Pretty epic as well. Let me know what you think in the comments about this whole water system. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Oh man, my hands are really dirty. I wish I could wash them off with some kind of water somewhere. So good. <laughs>